From sex happening out in the open to getting human feces thrown in their direction, it's not been easy for some business owners in Sherman Oaks. Now, reaction is coming in a day after Gina Silva exclusively reported on the variety of problems caused by vagrants and how those on the front lines of the homeless crisis are responding. Fox 11's Gina Silva has the latest. I actually got kind of sick to my stomach. I don't know if it, it's our collective failure to address homelessness or just the scenes were so heartbreaking. President and CEO of Union Rescue Mission, Andy Bales, is reacting to our Fox 11 investigation into the battle between Sherman Oaks business owners and transients who are at times violent, block the entrance to their establishments, and at least in one case, engaged in throwing human waste at this man, Paul Scrivano. Every day is like another adventure of One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. It is like a psych, literally a psych ward. On social media, strong reaction to the story. Thomas Glazeboro says, what did you expect from a Democratic-run city, a Democratic governor, and a Democratic state? From Property Hygiene Project DTLA, provide affordable housing and access to free mental health services, and we wouldn't have such a problem. The story was also picked up by the New York Post and other media. Most people shocked at how L.A. County is dealing with the homelessness crisis. Why can't the LAPD enforce a 5150 on someone who's a danger to themselves or to others? Uh, they do at times, but it has to be an extreme case. It has to be a true threat to others. And it, it probably, the things that I would call in for or others might call in for don't don't necessarily meet the threshold. It has to be an extreme case. And if someone is picked up, there's another big problem. There's nowhere to go afterwards, right? There's no real place for people to go to get the kind of care they need afterwards.